Hi everyone, I'm Meg Austin. I'm an academic advisor here at CSUMB, and today I'm going to be showing you an overview of how to use the Schedule Planner tool. We're going to start by logging into um, Oasis. From Oasis, we're going to go ahead and click on Oasis, or sorry, from our dashboard, we're going to go ahead and click on Oasis, which will take us to our Oasis Student Center. From here, we're going to click on the Schedule Planner link, and then Open Schedule Planner. Keep in mind, this will require you to, dis you to disable any pop-up blockers uh, for this particular web page. So what Schedule Planner is, is a tool where you can input all the classes that you're planning on taking next semester and generate all the possible schedules you can have. So it's a really user-friendly tool and helps you save time in terms of schedule planning. It's really straightforward, so we could just go ahead and start by adding classes because I've already talked to my advisor, either uh, read, I read the emails that my advisor has sent me advising on what classes to take my first semester, or I have uh, made a learning plan. So if I already know what classes I wanna add to my schedule, I, will, I can search by subject. So we'll go ahead and add chemistry, a chemistry class, click add course, and we can continue to add courses uh, to our list. I'll add a first year seminar, because I'm a first time freshman, and I'll add one more. I'm gonna add a GE, a A1, oral communication, general education requirement, because that is what my advisor recommended. So that's one way to add classes. You can also search for a class by course attribute, which means basically searching by, for a class based on what requirement it fulfills. So here are all the GE and university requirements we have here at CSUMB. So if you want to search for something that fulfills critical thinking, then it'll only populate classes that fulfill that GE. You can also search by instructor, or you can also search by what's in your learning plan tool, which is another advising tool, which you can access through your Oasis Student Center, which we go into more detail in other um, CSUMB advising YouTube channel videos. So once we have our list of classes that we plan on taking, we're gonna click back and go back to the landing page of the schedule planner. Another great, um, uh, another great thing that Schedule Planner does is that it allows you to add breaks. So let's say you want to try and work around a certain work schedule you have, or if you just want to try not to take classes at certain times of the day, you can add your break and uh, name it work or name it, um, uh, you just, you can say no class time or however you want to name it and say what time range you want to try and avoid classes. And that will allow you to generate schedules that work around that schedule as well. Here, this note that is um, indicating in this blue box, it says that you have selected classes in your learning plan tool, which is uh, the semester by semester planning tool, which I mentioned earlier. And that's another way to load classes in your schedule planner to see all the possible schedules you can take next semester is loading your selected courses that you may have already planned for in your learning plan tool. But for now, we'll go ahead and just generate the possible schedules we can have with the three classes we selected. So click Generate Schedules. So 83. So it gave me 83 possible schedule options. So that's quite a few to sort through. So again, you can uh, try adding a break time to narrow that down a little bit. There's a couple other ways to narrow down the options as well. But let's go ahead and just click View to see what it looks like in more detail. This takes us to a calendar view of what schedule you've selected. So you can see what each time a class is being offered and what day of the week and a nice pretty weekly calendar view. There's another way you can also uh, lock certain classes. Let's say I really like this time of when chemistry is offered. So I wanna keep that time and all my possible schedules that it generates for me. So we can go ahead and lock it by clicking that lock icon. And so it generated, it went from 83 possible schedules down to 12 possible schedules, given that um, change that we made to only show options that allow that class time. So if we click back, it'll give us the list of just the 12 options again. So if we wanna also compare we can compare up to four class uh, schedules next to each other to quickly glance at how um, 
how they look against one another. So you can quickly see if you prefer to have this kind of schedule or more uh, schedules that are more spread out. Just like you can lock a particular class that you um, that you like, you can also deselect certain sections by going into the options of a particular class and you can untick um, certain times of the class that's offered that you know you don't wanna do. So then you can click save and close and it'll work the schedule around that as well. Generate, now I have 10 possible schedules, which is a little bit easier to compare 10 schedules versus 83. So once we pick out our favorite schedule, let's say we really like schedule number six, we click view, go back to the calendar view, and we can also click send a shopping cart, which we, which once we do that, it'll give us instructions on how to import your favorite schedule into, right into your schedule, uh, your shopping cart in Oasis, which is a great um, quick way to fill up your Oasis shopping cart without having to individually add each class. There's another video that we do show you of how to add individual classes to your shopping cart. If you uh, need to go back and change your schedule later, uh, we have we made a video about that called adding classes to your Oasis shopping cart that is also available on our website. So that's the breakdown of what Schedule Planner is. If you ever have any questions about this tool, don't hesitate to reach out to your academic advisor. And thank you for watching today and we'll see you around campus.